Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Top 10 phrases your parents always say. Let's go. That's the best I could come up with. Soyez prudent. Be careful. That's plural, so that would be if you're with your brother because your parents wouldn't address you politely. So they would say, if it's singular, sois prudent, be careful. When I would go to my friends, they would tell me that and say, yeah, you call me when you arrive. And I wouldn't, because let's not be ridiculous. And like, I would take my bike and go to my friends. Or walk there. Mm. Say, yeah, tell me when you arrive. And I'd, yeah, I arrived well, I didn't die. Silence. Be quiet when you are being too noisy or when you play your music too loud or when you are being an idiot on, or when you're not behaving when you're at their friends. Being at your parents' friends with your parents was just so boring. Uh, so I would play with the cutlery and they would tell me to be quiet. Sois sage. Behave. Yeah. Behave. Be quiet. Bye. <laughs> Jesus. Behave, young girl. Yeah. Oh, behave. Leave a comment if you get the reference. Oh, behave. You will have to read the comment to know. Fais tes devoirs. Do your homework. You, you shouldn't need your parents to tell you that. You should do your homeworks on your own, no? Do I need to tell you about that? Do your French homework? Stop watching and go do it now. Nah, you can stay. You can go do your homework when you're done watching me. <laughs> I am your homework now. <laughs> I'm your French homework. You have to watch. Va au lit. Go to bed. Same as with your homework. Don't have your parents scream at you stuff like this. Just go to bed. Then you can fake it and you can be under the blankie and read a book or listen to stuff. You, you just have to make them believe you're going to bed. He has nice tips. Je vais compter jusqu'à trois. I'm going to count to three. That's when you are not eating your soup. Or when you are being annoying. You go, one, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. And then you get grounded. I don't know. I never got to three with them. Arrête! Stop! Again, what kind of parents are those? Don't you have nice parents somewhere? Stop! Hammer time! <laughs> what would that be in French? Arrête! Le temps du marteau! <laughs> Doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> but hey, who cares? Oh yeah, when, when you want to be a brat and your parents tell you that one word, arrête, it also sounds like a fish bone. Arrête, so une arrête de poisson is a fish bone. And so we would say, y a pas d'arrêt dans le beefsteak. There is no fish bone in the steak. Which doesn't mean much, but just when you want to be a brat and annoy your parents, you would say that. Really? Something to annoy people with. Qu'est-ce que tu as dit? What did you say? So if you do the arrêt stuff with just so, then maybe your parents will ask you this. What did you just say? You're making fun of me, huh? You're making fun of me? No. So what did you say? Je ne plaisante pas. I'm not kidding. I will count to three and I'm not kidding. I don't know. I never argue with my parents so much that they would have to tell me stuff like this. I would just tell them, shut up, I'm going to my room. Yeah, because they were always arguing between them and throwing plates at each other, so I would go to my room anyway to avoid them. I'm not kidding! Je ne plaisante pas, tu ne dois pas manger le dernier cookie. You shall not eat the last cookie, I'm not kidding! It's mine. Sorry. <laughs> it's mine! It's my cookie! It's my cookie. <laughs> Éteins la télévision immédiatement. Turn the TV off now! They told me that when I was... 12 and I was watching the X-File too much. And the X-File is a show for adults, so it was forbidden so for people under 12, but I would watch it anyway. And it would run really late and I would have school the next day. So if they caught me watching the X-File, they would say that. Turn off the TV and go to bed. 
but I like the X files. No, it doesn't look as good anymore, but at the time it was. <laughs> 10 phrases you will need for a date. Ta-da! Tu veux aller dîner avec moi? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Tu veux aller dîner avec moi? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Which is the most basic way to invite someone on a date, I guess. Invite them for dinner. Tu es libre ce weekend? Are you free this weekend? Tu es libre ce weekend? Are you free this weekend? Are you? I am, I don't have anything to do this weekend. Let's go do something. Hmm, like eating cookies. Second most basic way to invite someone on a date. What do you do on a weekend date? Let me know in the comments. Tu veux traîner avec moi? Would you like to hang out with me? Tu veux traîner avec moi? Would you like to hang out with me? That, that's a bit like if you're with your bros, you know, and you'll be like, Oh, uh, tu veux traîner? Tu veux traîner avec moi? Oh, yo. <laughs> that, that's kind of a street way to say that. It's like Netflix and chill, but just the chill part. I don't know. If the girl you want to invite is wearing baggy pants, then you can use this sentence. Tu es trop chou. You are so cute. Tu es trop chou. You are so cute. Oh, you cute. Chou is literally a cabbage. So you are so cabbage. You are so cute. <laughs> tu es superbe. You look great. Tu es superbe. You look great. Well, when your date is coming toward you and your date is wearing their fanciest clothes to impress you, you can say that. <gasps> tu es superbe. Okay. <laughs> Tell me I look great in the comments. <laughs> C'était une soirée géniale. That was a great evening. C'était une soirée géniale. That was a great evening. For when you had a good time with your date and you want to finish on a positive note, you can say that. And hopefully they will see you next time. And that's what they will say if they want to see you next time. Je vais te raccompagner en voiture chez toi. I will drive you home. Je vais te raccompagner en voiture chez toi. I will drive you home. Yeah, that's when things are getting serious. Then you get in the car and then you have to invite the person upstairs and have a coffee. Yeah. Quand est-ce qu'on se revoit? Can I see you again? Quand est-ce qu'on se revoit? Can I see you again? No, you cannot. That's fact. Yeah, if you both had a good date, hopefully you can see each other again. Unless you were the only one having a good date. Then no, you won't see them. Ever. Again. No. On va ailleurs? Shall we go somewhere else? On va ailleurs? Shall we go somewhere else? So you want to be all alone in the dark? Doing lovey-dovey stuff. <laughs> yeah, if the place is too crowded for you and you want a bit more of intimacy, you can offer your dad to go someplace else and go take a walk into a park. Qu'est-ce que tu penses de cet endroit? What do you think of this place? Qu'est-ce que tu penses de cet endroit? What do you think of this place? Yeah, what do you think of this place? I think it's pretty green. Th that's my date place. So tell me what you think of this place in the comments. Should we decorate a bit? Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's go! Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. I would be really amazed if you told me that in French. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. Nice. Très bien. Very good. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. And it took you only one year to become fluent. Nice. Ten years is a long way to go, but it may be the time you need to learn a language properly, actually. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. All by myself. I'm learning French all by... <laughs> Now you're learning French with me. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I speak French like a native speaker in three years. 
Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I'll speak French like an active speaker in three years. Good luck with that. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. That's really amazing, so yeah, if you told me that in French, I would be amazed. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Man, and this is also really good, and it's a really good way to learn as well. So do it whenever you can. You can try by starting to watch Le Fabuleux Destin d'Amélie Poulain. It's a very famous French movie. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. Apart from knowing French, I can speak a few other languages as well. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. <laughs> Apart from knowing French, I can speak another few languages as well. Good job! I bet you can also speak English! <gasps> That's already two languages! Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn! Well, I'm glad you enjoy it, and I hope you will continue to enjoy the lessons with me as well. <laughs> Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Wow. If someone tells you this, it means not only you're really good at speaking French, but you also got no accent at all. 20 travel phrases you should know. Merci. Thank you. Anytime you receive something or someone was nice to you. Merci. Thank you. Excusez-moi. Excuse me. Anytime you bump into someone or if you step on the foot because the metro is crowded or if you need to call for the waiter's attention, use this one. Excusez-moi. Combien ça coûte? How much is this? Yeah, sometimes you won't find the prices on the items you are looking for, especially if you are going to a flea market in France. So just go, ah, this item, how much is it? Cet objet, combien ça coûte? Où est la gare? Where is the train station? This one can be quite convenient. If you are in a big city, where is the metro? Où est le métro? Le wifi est-il gratuit? Is the wifi free? If you want Wi-Fi in France, maybe some coffee shops now have it. They advertise it on the chalkboard outside. So come inside, we have Wi-Fi. Je voudrais ceci. I'd like this. Oh, I'd like this, please. Je voudrais ceci, s'il vous plaît. If you don't know the name of the item you want in the menu, you can just point and say, Je voudrais ceci. I want this, please. Pourrions-nous avoir le menu, s'il vous plaît? Could we have the menu, please? Usually you have to ask for it. Sometimes the place is very crowded, so ask. Le menu, s'il vous plaît. Could we have the menu, please? Avez-vous des recommandations? Do you have any recommendations? If you are at a bar and want for some cocktail, it can be like, oh, I like something fruity. Do you have any recommendation? J'aimerais quelque chose de fruité. Avez-vous des recommandations? And then the bartender will make you some fancy cocktail. Je suis allergique aux cacahuètes. I'm allergic to peanuts. If you have any allergies, be sure to ask whenever you are going out or trying to eat something. People will be really nice about it. And sometimes it's even on the menu. If you have any allergies, there will be a sign saying, yes, yeah, this contains nut or this contains milk or this contains gluten. And you can make sure that you don't eat something you don't want to ingest. <laughs> Avez-vous des plats végétariens? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? If you are vegetarian or vegan, there will also be a sign very often on the menu saying this dish contains no meat or this is vegan safe, it's made with no animal grease or eggs or milk. Pourrais-je avoir l'addition? Could I have the check? Pourrais-je avoir l'addition, s'il vous plaît? Could I have the check, please? Prenez-vous la carte de crédit? Do you take credit card? Can I pay by credit card? Puis-je payer avec ma carte de crédit? Pourriez-vous me prendre en photo, s'il vous plaît? Could you take a picture of me, please? What, you don't have your selfie stick? Come on, that's something every traveler should have. Un, deux, trois, oui, Titi. 
Je voudrais un siège non fumeur, s'il vous plaît. I'd like to have a non-smoking seat, please. Well, restaurants in France have banned smoking inside for a couple of years now. So every restaurant you go to should be non-smoking. Smoking is only allowed in bars. Good luck with that. Do you have non-smoking seats? Avez-vous des sièges non fumeurs? Pourriez-vous me donner un rabais? Could you give me a discount? Un peu moins cher? A little bit cheaper. This is again if you go to flea market, and especially on Sundays, you will have a bunch of sellers selling stuff from their homes. You can negotiate the price a lot over there. And getting an item half price is really common. So you can say, Ah, uh, un peu moins cher. Uh, ou, est-ce que je pourrais avoir un rabais? S'il vous plaît, give me a discount, please. Or make it cheaper, a tiny bit cheaper. Okay, more. More cheap, even, even cheaper, way, way cheaper. Okay, give it to me, free, now. Pourrais-je obtenir un plan? Could I get a map? Plan would be more a map of something you want inside, for example, if you're in a museum. And if you are outside and got lost and go to the information center, for example, you can ask, pourrais-je avoir une carte? Could I get a map? J'ai une réservation. I have a reservation. When you get to a restaurant and have a reservation, they will often ask you at the front desk, so do you have a reservation? Avez-vous une réservation? You can say, yes, I have a reservation. Oui, j'ai une réservation. Puis j'ai essayé. Can I try this on? Yeah, if you want to try some clothes, you can ask the staff. Puis j'ai essayé ceci. Can I try this? Parlez-vous anglais? Do you speak English? French people aren't really good at speaking English, but they will try their best. So if you find someone and cannot express yourself in French properly and ask them, Parlez-vous anglais? Do you speak English? They may say, no, not that much, but no, je, je ne parle pas beaucoup, ou je ne parle pas anglais. The most common sentence I learn in every language is, a beer, please. Une bière, s'il vous plaît. Anytime it's summer, it's hot, and you want something fresh, une bière, s'il vous plaît. A beer, please to go with your nice meal or just to freshen up and chill with friends. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. 10 phrases to help you in an emergency. Let's begin. Appelez la police, s'il vous plaît. Call the police, please. Use this phrase when you need someone to call the police. In France, we call 17. They should be called if there is a need of police intervention. For example, an accident on a public highway, public disorder, aggression, a robbery, a burglary, etc. Avez-vous de la fièvre? Do you have a fever? Use this phrase when you want to check someone's temperature. Generally, when seeing this sentence, you place your hand on the person's forehead to feel if it's warm. <gasps> J'ai perdu mon passeport. I lost my passport. Use this phrase when, unfortunately for yourself, you lose your passport. In this situation, find and contact the nearest embassy or consulate from your country. Ouf. Je pense que j'ai mangé quelque chose de mauvais. I think I ate something bad. Use this phrase when you are not feeling very well due to intestinal discomfort and you want something to help the pain. J'ai besoin d'un médecin. I need a doctor. Use this phrase when you are not feeling very well. If you are sick, you must see a doctor. Je ne retrouve pas le chemin jusqu'à mon hôtel. I can't find the way back to my hotel. Use this phrase when you are lost and can't go back to your hotel. In this situation, you can try to find a reputable store. Explain your situation to one of the employees and they will maybe help you. An offline map app is also useful. Y a-t-il une pharmacie dans le coin? Is there a pharmacy nearby? Use this phrase when you need to find a pharmacy without going too far. Do not hesitate to ask a shopkeeper around you. They might know better than the average person on the street. Pourriez-vous m'aider? Can you help me? Use this phrase when you need assistance and you want to ask someone. 
You can add excusez-moi, excuse me, at the beginning of the sentence to be more polite. Je suis perdu. I am lost. Use this phrase when you are lost. As I already said, do not hesitate to ask to someone like a storekeeper or a police officer to help you. J'ai besoin d'une ambulance. I need an ambulance. Use this phrase when you need an ambulance to come. Usually you can call 112, the European emergency number, even if you don't speak French. 10 phrases you always want to hear. This will be nice. So what do you want to hear? You're so pretty. Il y aura un bonus à la fin du mois. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Ah, this will be so nice. So sad it's not true. <laughs> yeah, if your boss tells you this, the, il y aura un bonus à la fin du mois. Then you get extra money, isn't it nice? If I had the bonus, I would not come to work anymore and go traveling somewhere. Le budget est illimité. The budget is unlimited. This also sounds nice. Like if you put me in a store with le budget est illimité. I would buy lots of and lots of food. And drinks too. Allons au restaurant avec un budget illimité. Let's go to the restaurant with an unlimited budget. Prenez une pause. Je vais faire le ménage aujourd'hui. Take a break. I do the cleaning today. So this is also the polite version. So if you want to talk more casually is Prends une pause. Je vais faire le ménage aujourd'hui. Prends une pause. I'm doing the dishes and the cleaning, everything. Just sit down and enjoy. This would be nice. Yeah, this is also something I want to hear. Et vous gagnez. And you win. Et vous gagnez. And you win. Yeah. What do I win? Et vous gagnez un voyage en Amérique. And you win a trip to the USA. Ooh, ooh. From East Coast to West Coast, starting with New York and going to Chicago and maybe visit some friends in the South and then go all the way to California and then be Las Vegas, back to California and from California, take a plane ticket to Japan. Tu me manques. I miss you. Oh, tu m'as manqué. I missed you. And now you're in it and you're all fluffy together. Vous avez fait un excellent travail. You did a great job. Hey, great job today, Lilia. Thank you. So if you manage to learn all those French sentences, vous avez fait un excellent travail. Vous aviez raison. You were right. I told you so. If someone recognizes that you were right and tell you so, that's nice. Vous êtes un excellent cuisinier. You're an excellent cook. Tu es un excellent cuisinier. This is one I often get. So do you get this comment? Vous êtes un excellent cuisinier. If so, what did you cook to get that comment? Leave it in the comment. Tu es jolie. You're pretty. Oh, you look so pretty today. Oh, tu as l'air très jolie aujourd'hui. Only today, je vous ai apporté quelque chose de spécial. I brought you something special. What could be quelque chose de spécial? I would like to be given a kitten. You're cute. Top 15 questions you should know. So if you travel in France, Pay attention to those. Aimes-tu la cuisine française? Do you like French food? So if you are invited somewhere, usually people have this question. Aimes-tu la cuisine française? Do you like French food? Oh, aimes-tu la cuisine française? Yeah, sure, I love it. <laughs> so do you like French food? C'est quand votre anniversaire? When is your birthday? Quand est ton anniversaire? If you want to be a bit casual. Ou quand est ton anniversaire? When is your birthday? Combien de temps as-tu appris le français? How long have you been studying French? Combien de temps as-tu appris le français? Or, pendant combien de temps as-tu appris le français? Usually we say, pendant combien de temps? I'm sorry if I speak really fast, but French people usually speak really fast. For three months. Wow, you're good. <laughs> Comment t'appelles-tu? What's your name? You will hear this one a lot. So, comment t'appelles-tu? Or, more casually, will be, comment tu t'appelles? Comment vas-tu? How are you? Comment vas-tu? How are you? Hey, bonjour, comment vas-tu? Or, you will often hear, comment ça va? Hey, comment ça va? D'où venez-vous? Where are you from? D'où venez-vous? 
Where do you come from? And just answer where you come from. I'm from America. <laughs> French people often make jokes about English speaking people, so prove them wrong by answering in French and you will impress them really much. That would be so great. So try it. Et tu déjà allé en France? Have you been to France? Well, aller is go. So if you are already in France when answering this, it would be Et tu déjà venu en France? Which is Did you ever come to France? With a notion of Did you ever come before? Or is it your first time? Maybe you will also hear this one Is it your first time in France? Ou Est-ce que c'est ta première fois en France? Où as-tu appris le français? Where did you learn French? Où as-tu appris le français? Where did you learn French? I'm French Pod 101 <laughs> with me. Yeah, where did you learn French? Leave me a comment below. <laughs> Maybe in your home country or on the internet or did you study it more seriously in school? So just tell me. Où habitez-vous? Where do you live? I used to live in the south. So between Spain and Italy. It was a nice place full of sun and everything. You should check it out, so come to the south of France, it's sunny. Où sont les toilettes? Where is the bathroom? Où sont les toilettes? You will need this one in a restaurant. Toilette is a plural word in French. We used to make a joke that French toilets are so dirty that you have to check many of them before finding a decent one. That's why it's a plural name. Some toilets you have to pay to access them actually in public places. So be careful, sometimes you need a coin, especially in stations like train stations. Où travaillez-vous? Where do you work? Où travaillez-vous? Where do you work? I work on the internet. It's a worldwide place. So, and after this one, usually you will be asked, what do you work in? Or what's your job? Quel est ton travail? Ou dans quoi travailles-tu? Here you go. Qu'avez-vous dit? What did you say? Qu'avez-vous dit? Or you will often hear pardon or excuse me. Like I'm sorry, like I didn't catch you. So pardon, excusez-moi. Or can you repeat? Pouvez-vous répéter? So if French people say that to you, just try and repeating what you said. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? <gasps> Qu'est-ce que c'est? I don't know. Show them something fancy for your own country and tell them. And they will ask, oh, qu'est-ce que c'est? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? What's your phone number? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? What's your phone number? This is a pickup line. Hey, Ooh. what's your phone number? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? Oh, yeah, maybe they will ask for your pseudo, which is your ID in any web messaging service. Es-tu célibataire? Are you single? And if you are traveling to France and happen to find love, maybe you will be asked, Are you single? Es-tu célibataire? Or maybe the other sneaky way around. Est-ce que tu as un copain? Ou est-ce que tu as une copine? Do you have a boyfriend? Or do you have a girlfriend? So maybe you will find French love in France. Who knows? Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at frenchpod101.com. Hey, watchers, and welcome back for more French words. This week will be top 25 French adjectives. Tout, all, tout, all, or everything. I have to think about everything. Je dois penser à tout. J'ai tout mangé. I ate everything. Because food is good. Oh yeah, to is for object. If it's for people, like all the people, it will be tous. Grand, tall. Grand, tall. I'm not tall. Je ne suis pas grande. Un grand arbre. A tall tree. <laughs> Petit, small. Petit, small. A small snail. Un petit escargot. He goes like this. Too petit, too petit. So small, so small. Mem, even, same. Mem, even, or same. C'est le même. It's the same. Doing it the same way. Le faire de la même manière. 
autre, other, autre, other. For example, if you are shopping for, let's say, shirts, and you want the same in another color, l'avez-vous dans une autre couleur? Do you have it in another color? Or do you have it in another size? Est-ce que vous l'avez dans une autre taille? Seul, only, lonely, seul, only, can also mean lonely, un seul, only one, going alone, j'y vais seul. Ta -ta -ta. No, don't go. Yes, I'm going alone. No, take me with you. No, it's too dangerous. Or, je me sens seul, I'm feeling lonely. Jeune, young, jeune, young, I'm still young. Je suis encore jeune. I'm not that old. Come on. Oh, les jeunes. Oh, ah, the youngsters. Premier. First. Premier. First. Je suis le premier. I'm the first. Be the first to comment. Soyez le premier à commenter. Comment right now. Comment right now. Comment right now. Bon. Good. Bon. Good. This meal is so good. Ce plat est trop bon. Or... Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, c'est bon. Or, it also means, yeah, it's okay. C'est bon. Quel, which, quel, which, which one is it? Lequel est-ce? Beau, beautiful. I'm beautiful. Je suis belle. Oh. Beau is masculine and belle is feminine. C'est trop beau. This is so beautiful. You can hear young people saying that, but, wow, c'est trop beau. Wow, it's so beautiful. Vieux, old. Vieux, old. I'm getting old. Je me fais vieux. Which is also masculine and feminine will be vieille. Je me fais vieille. Noir, black. Noir, black. Je porte toujours des t-shirts noirs. I'm always wearing black shirts. You guys always complain that I'm only wearing black shirts. I'm sorry. Nouveau, new. Uh, nouveau, new, it's brand new, c'est tout nouveau. Dernier, last, dernier, last, I always finish last, je finis toujours en dernier. Blanc, white, blanc, white, I'm wearing a white shirt today, je porte une chemise blanche aujourd'hui. Or, clouds are white, les nuages sont blancs. Cher, expensive, cher, expensive. I never buy expensive stuff. Je n'achète jamais des trucs chers. So yeah, if you go to a Sunday market, you will have a lot of people uh, trying to catch you and be, hey, it's not expensive, buy it, buy it. I make it not expensive for you. C'est pas cher, c'est pas cher. <laughs> long, 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 long. I have long hair. Again, j'ai les cheveux longs. Une longue journée, a long day. Today is going to be a long day. <laughs> Pauvre. Poor, pauvre, poor. When you want to say, ah, oh, it's this person is kind of oh, miserable or something bad happened to them, you say, oh, le pauvre, ah, oh, poor dear. Plein, full, plein, full. C'est plein de joie. It's full of joy. Ooh. Vrai, real, vrai, real. Or can also be true. Is that true? Est-ce que c'est vrai? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is that for real? C'est vrai? No. In French, we'll be like, c'est pas vrai. Gentil. Nice. Gentil. Nice. I'm a nice person. Je suis une gentille personne. Bas. Low. Bas. Low. A low level. Un niveau bas. Gros. Big. Gros. Big. Un gros éléphant. A big elephant. Un gros gâteau, a big cake. Doux, soft, doux, soft. Oh, fluffy! I like the word fluffy better. A soft towel, une serviette douce. When you just wash them and they're all fluffy and then you can put your face in it. I like to put my face in kitten and rub them like this because they're so fluffy. Les chatons, c'est doux. Kitten are soft. Soft, kitty, warm, kitty, little ball of fur. Doux, chaton chaud, chaton gros. Uh, petite boule de poil. Thank you for watching our top 25 adjectives. And don't forget to subscribe for more French words. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
French is not difficult. Le français n'est pas difficile. So welcome back, watchers. This week, we're going to be talking about 10 phrases you always want to hear. This will be nice. So what do you want to hear? You're so pretty. Il y aura un bonus à la fin du mois. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Ah, this will be so nice. So sad it's not true. <laughs> yeah, if your boss tells you this, the, il y aura un bonus à la fin du mois. Then you get extra money, isn't it nice? If I had the bonus, I would not come to work anymore and go traveling somewhere. Le budget est illimité. The budget is unlimited. This also sounds nice. Like if you put me in a store with le budget est illimité. I would buy lots of and lots of food. And drinks too. Allons au restaurant avec un budget illimité. Let's go to the restaurant with an unlimited budget. Prenez une pause. Je vais faire le ménage aujourd'hui. Take a break. I do the cleaning today. So this is also the polite version. So if you want to talk more casually is Prends une pause. Je vais faire le ménage aujourd'hui. Prends une pause. I'm doing the dishes and the cleaning, everything. Just sit down and enjoy. This would be nice. Yeah, this is also something I want to hear. Et vous gagnez. And you win. Et vous gagnez. And you win. Yeah. What do I win? Et vous gagnez un voyage en Amérique. And you win a trip to the USA. Ooh, ooh. From East Coast to West Coast, starting with New York and going to Chicago and maybe visit some friend in the South and then go all the way to California and then be Las Vegas, back to California and from California, take a plane ticket to Japan. Tu me manques. I miss you. Oh, tu m'as manqué. I missed you. And now you're in it and you're all fluffy together. Vous avez fait un excellent travail. You did a great job. Hey, great job today, Leah. Thank you. So, if you manage to learn all those French sentences, vous avez fait un excellent travail. Vous aviez raison. You were right. I told you so. If someone recognizes that you were right and tell you so, that's nice. Vous êtes un excellent cuisinier. You're an excellent cook. Tu es un excellent cuisinier. This is one I often get. So, do you get this comment? Vous êtes un excellent cuisinier. If so, what did you cook to get that comment? Leave it in the comment. Tu es jolie. You're pretty. Oh, you look so pretty today. Oh, tu as l'air très jolie aujourd'hui. Only today? Je vous ai apporté quelque chose de spécial. I brought you something special. What could be quelque chose de spécial? I would like to be given a kitten. You're cute. So, vous avez fait un excellent travail aujourd'hui. So you did a great job today, and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more friends. Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Hey, watchers! This week we're going to be doing top 25 French nouns. So let's start right now. Homme, man. So homme, man. Le chien est le meilleur ami de l'homme. Dog is man's best friend. Oh, who is the doggy? Who is the doggy? Who is the fluffy doggy? No, doggy. I should stop doing the doggy. Ami, friend. Ami, friend. Best friend, mon meilleur ami. I like hanging out with my friend. J'aime traîner avec mes amis. When I was little, I didn't have friends. Quand j'étais petite, je n'avais pas d'amis. So sad. Femme, woman. Next one is femme, woman. I'm a woman. Je suis une femme. Jour. Day. Jour. Day. All day. Toute la journée. Il fait jour. It's day. Morning. I'm not a morning person. I don't like day. I like night. Je n'aime pas le jour. J'aime la nuit. Mer. Sea. Mer. Sea. The boat on the sea. Un bateau sur la mer. I used to live on a boat. On the sea. True story. Ah, oh, there is this song about the sea. La mer qu'on voit danser Le long des golfes clairs The sea that we see dancing Along 
it's a clear coast or something like that. Tiens. Temps. Time. Temps. Time. Uh, temps can also be weather. Quel temps il fait? What's the weather today? And time is... Le temps passe vite. Time goes fast. Or do you need more time? Main. Hand. Main. Hand. Oh. Les mains. I hurt my hand yesterday. Je me suis fait mal aux mains hier. Because I was playing baseball without a glove and it hurt so bad. <laughs> Pa! And smashes into your hand. Uh, se laver les mains. To wash your hand. Wash hands. Ooh. I'm sorry, tissue. Chose. Sink. Chose. Sink. Plein de choses. Many things. Or when you don't know what word to put in a sentence, you can just use the chose. <laughs> Quelque chose, something. La chose est une main. The thing is a hand. Vie. Life. Having an easy life. Avoir la vie facile. And be lazy. Ah. Yeux. Eyes. Yeux. <laughs> Eyes. So be careful in French because the plural is very different. So it's un oeil and les yeux. Your eyes are so beautiful. T'as de beaux yeux. Heure. Time. Heure. Time. What time is it? Il est quelle heure? But heure also means hour and not only time. Monde. World. Monde. World. To travel around the world. Voyager autour du monde. I like traveling around the world. The World Cup. La Coupe du Monde. <coughs> Enfant. Child. Enfant. Child. To adopt a child. Adopter un enfant. I think it's a better solution for the world. When you are a child, you go to school. Les enfants vont à l'école. Ou quand on est un enfant, on va à l'école. Foi. Time. Foi. Time. It's like multiplier, like two times four, deux fois quatre, or time like the number of time you do something. I went two times to see this movie because it was so good. Je suis allé voir ce film deux fois parce qu'il était trop bien. Be careful with the writing on this one because there are many words that can be pronounced uh, fois, but with a different ending. Moment, moment, take just a moment. Or like it will take a really short amount of time. Ça va prendre juste un moment. Depending on how you say it, actually, it can vary. Because if you say like, ça va prendre un moment, it means it will take a long time, dude. You better be patient. Tête, head. Tête, head. Se cogner la tête, to bump your head. Avoir la tête sur les épaules. Having your head on your shoulders, meaning you have a straight head and a clear vision of what you want to do and be very down to earth. Père, father, père, father. I like my father. J'aime mon papa. <laughs> Un père de famille, the family's father, meaning he's like the head of the family and all responsible and hardworking and providing for everyone. Good daddy. Fille, girl, fille, girl. I'm a girl, je suis une fille. Before I was a woman, but I got downgraded. No, I'm a girl. A cute girl. Girls just want to have fun. Les filles veulent juste s'amuser. Bad girl, bad. You're a bad girl. Vilaine fille, vilaine. Boo. <laughs> Coeur. Heart. Coeur. Heart. Cue. Potato. Potato. <laughs> Avoir le cœur sur la main. Having your heart on your hand is a French expression which means uh, being very generous. To hear your heart beat. Entendre son cœur battre. I can hear it at night. Poum, poum. Poum, poum. And then you put freaky music behind it. Dun, 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 dun. Poum, poum. Poum, poum. An. Year. An. Year. One year. Un an. Or two years. Deux ans. J'ai 26 ans. I'm 26. Terre, earth, ground, soil. Terre with a capital letter will be earth, the planet we live on, and terre with no 
capital letter will be the earth you walk on. So if you mix earth and water, it makes mud. Si vous mélangez de la terre et de l'eau, ça fait de la boue. And then you can apply it as a mask on your face. Monsieur, sir, monsieur, sir, monsieur, monsieur, madame. <laughs> monsieur is a singular and monsieur will be plural. Les messieurs ont des jolies moustaches. Moustache. <laughs> I like that word. When you're a kid, you say, eh, teacher, what was in your hand? And then when you grow up and go to high school, it's like, more like, sir or monsieur. When you have a question, if you want to be really polite, you can put Monsieur before the family name of someone. Monsieur Dupont or Monsieur Durand, which are really common French family names. Voix, voice, voix, voice. There is a TV show called The Voice, right? La voix. Avoir une belle voix, having a nice voice. La, la. Maison, house, house, maison. This is my house. C'est ma maison. Yeah, I live in a greenish house and I stay here all day in a tiny window and talk to you guys. I don't have a house. Je n'ai pas de maison. Cat. Chat. Cats. Un chat. I'm a cat person. Je suis une personne à chat. I like cats. J'aime les chats. You're so cute and fluffy. Come on. I can only think about kittens right now. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more French words and we'll see you next time. Bye! Maha. Ah, French people be so fancy. Allez, uh, let me grab you! The end! Welcome back, watchers! This week we are going to talk about 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's go! Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. I would be really amazed if you told me that in French. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. Nice. Très bien. Very good. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. And it took you only one year to become fluent. Nice. 10 years is a long way to go, but it may be the time you need to learn a language properly, actually. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. All by myself. I'm learning French all by myself. Now you're learning French with me. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I speak French like a native speaker in three years. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I'll speak French like a native speaker in three years. Good luck with that. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. That's really amazing, so yeah. If you told me that in French, I would be amazed. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Man, and this is also really good, and it's a really good way to learn as well. So do it whenever you can. You can try by starting to watch Le Fabuleux Destin d'Amélie Poulain. It's a very famous French movie. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. Apart from knowing French, I can speak a few other languages as well. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. <laughs> Apart from knowing French, I can speak another few languages as well. Good job. I bet you can also speak English. <gasps> That's already two languages. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. And I hope you will continue to enjoy the lessons with me as well. <laughs> Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. 
Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. <rire> Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Wow. If someone tells you this, it means not only you're really good at speaking French, but you also got no accent at all. And it's the end. So don't forget to subscribe to learn more French. And what's the best sentence you can say in French? Amaze me in the comments. And we'll see you next time. See you guys and girls and watchers and kittens. Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Hey watchers, this week we're gonna learn about top 25 French phrases. Let's go! Bonjour! Bonjour is hello. Bonjour! 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 Hey! Okay, now you can say bonjour any time of the day, even if it's night. Salut! Hi! Hi is uh, salut. Salut, comment ça va? Hey, how you doing? So, salut is like bonjour, and you can also use it to say hi and to say goodbye. So when you leave, you can also say salut, à la prochaine. Ça va. How are you? You can say ça va, like just after salut, ça va. Or bonjour, ça va. Or comment ça va? If you only say ça va, it's kind of missing something, so put it after a greeting. So, how are you? How you doing? Comment ça va? <laughs> Bonsoir. Good evening, not good night, almost good night, but not. Bonsoir is also a greeting you can use when you leave or when you enter someone's place. For example, if you go in the evening to someone's house or party, you can say, ah, bonsoir tout le monde. Bonne nuit. Good night. Good night is bonne nuit, person sleeping next to you. Bonne nuit. Or to your family when you go to sleep. Oui. Yes. Yeah. Oui. You also say, yeah, maybe you've heard, oui, oui, like French people often do this, oui, oui. It's also a cartoon for children, oui, oui, and his little car. You should try and watch it in French, it's very educative. Non, 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 <laughs> you have oui, oui, and non, non. We often say them both, just use yes and no, oui et non. Je m'appelle, my name is, je m'appelle Lia. You knew that already, huh? What's your name? Leave it in the comment in French. S'il vous plaît, please. Please, s'il vous plaît. This is a polite version, and if you want the more friendly version, is s'il te plaît, if you're asking a friend. S'il te plaît, give me your candy, I'm starving. S'il te plaît, donne-moi des bonbons. L'addition, s'il vous plaît. D'accord, okay. So, we also use okay, but with a French accent. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? Want to come to the cinema with me? D'accord. Excusez-moi. Excuse me. If someone is blocking the way, you just say, excusez-moi. Merci. Thank you. Please learn this one and be polite. In French, we just have merci. There is no short version of it, and you can use it for anyone. So when you receive something at the grocery store, ah, merci. Or when someone does you a favor, ah, merci. If you want to be really polite or really thankful, you can say merci beaucoup. Thanks a lot. De rien. So you are welcome. If someone says merci to you, you can just say, ah, de rien. So merci et de rien. Those come in a pair, so learn them together. It's nice. Il est quelle heure? What time is it? Or, quelle heure il est? You will more often hear the second version. So, oh, excusez-moi, quelle heure il est? Excuse me, what time is it? Où sont les toilettes? Where is the bathroom? We don't have many available bathrooms in public places, and usually they are really dirty. So, or maybe if you are at someone's house, you can ask, où sont les toilettes? Enchanté, nice to meet you. Bonjour, enchanté, je m'appelle Lia. And here you have three of today's words together. Isn't it nice? Bonjour, je m'appelle Lia, enchanté, comment ça va? Hi, nice to meet you, my name is Lia. How are you doing? <laughs> and you have all of them to greet people and start a nice conversation. So, nice to meet you, enchanté. À bientôt, see you soon. This is what I should say at the end of each video. See you soon, or à bientôt. Use it when you leave. That's about it. À demain. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. À demain. Yeah. Au revoir. Bye bye, or goodbye. Au revoir is kind of polite. You can use it with everyone as well. So if you want to be more friendly, we use like ciao. Au revoir is only for leaving, so, so yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye, watchers.
See you next time. À bientôt. <rire> no, not yet, because I'm going to see you guys a lot. Bien sûr. Of course. Bien sûr que c'est le cas. If you want to be sarcastic, you can say, oui, bien sûr. We mostly use it this way, because we like being sarcastic. So, yeah, of course. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Je peux utiliser... Oh. May I use something, something? So, fill the blank with whatever you want. Can I use your pencil? Je peux utiliser ce stylo. Oui, oui. Je suis désolé. I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, if you bump into someone, you can also use this one. Like, oh, je suis désolé. If I bump into somebody, they won't wake up, da. Moon don't go where he pleases. Yeah. Terminator is more like this. I'm sorry. Je suis désolé. Pourquoi? Why? Why? Pourquoi? C'est vrai? Really? C'est vrai? C'est vrai? Oh, fine. So, if you are hearing gossip and stuff, you can be like, oh, c'est vrai? No, no, c'est vrai? Oh, c'est vrai? Really? Yeah. And you can use it with all the intonations. C'est vrai? C'est vrai? So, the opposite of c'est vrai is c'est pas vrai. No, it's not. Well, not really. Je ne comprends pas. I don't understand. Lia never understand. Lia says her name a lot, or else she forgets. Happened before. When someone is speaking too fast, like I do, I'm sorry, je suis désolé. You can tell them, je ne comprends pas. Or, yeah, because they have all those fancy French words and vocabulary, you can be like, non, je ne comprends pas. At the end! So, remember those main sentences, and don't forget to subscribe, and... Leave me a comment if you ne comprend pas. Bye bye. Au revoir et à bientôt. Please stop it, I'm waving. Hey watchers and welcome to this week's new top word. And this week will be 25 French verbs. Here we go. Être, to be. To be or not to be. Être ou ne pas être. What do you want to be when you grow up? Qu'est-ce que tu veux être plus tard? Or, qu'est-ce que tu veux être quand tu grandiras? Avoir, to have. Don't forget that Verbs in French are conjugated, so it's a pain to learn. You never use avoir by itself. I have, j'ai. J'ai des cheveux bruns. I have brown hair. Faire, to do. Faire, something, something. Like, faire du vélo would be like to bike, but you actually, you are doing bike. Faire la cuisine, to cook. To do the cooking, or something like that. What do you like to do? Qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire? If you are asking for hobbies, Tell me what you like to do in the comments, watchers. Dire, to say. Je dis beaucoup de bêtises. I say a lot of silly things. But that's why you like me. What can I say? Qu'est-ce que je peux dire? I don't know. Pouvoir. Can. Yes, you can. Oui, nous pouvons. Oui, nous pouvons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you do a Rubik's Cube? Est-ce que tu peux faire un Rubik's Cube? Tchaka, tchaka, tchaka. Allez, to go. Just go! Va-t'en! Go away! You don't use it with French people. They're gonna get mad at you. Go walking, aller se balader. Or go in the kitchen, aller à la cuisine. To go on a trip, aller voyager. Voir, to see. I can't see anything. Je peux rien voir. Boo! <laughs> Peekaboo! You cannot see me. On ne peut pas me voir. Yeah. Vouloir, to want. I want, I want to rock right now. Je veux rocker maintenant. Je veux, je veux rocker maintenant. Sounds so lame. I want candy. Je veux des bonbons. What do I want? Everything. I want lasagna. Je veux des lasagnes. I'm not Garfield. Venir, to come. Tu dois venir t'amuser avec nous. Please come play with us. <laughs> come to Mundo. You can come with us. Tu peux venir avec nous. It's the way French people will invite you. So, yeah, sure, come. Ouais, viens. Devoir, must. Devoir is also homework, because it's something you must do. It also means duty. It's an eclectic word. You can use it for so many things. You have to do your homework. Tu dois faire tes devoirs. Je dois faire la vaisselle. I have to do the dishes. Or else it stinks. Prendre, to take. You can take the train, prendre le train, or you can take something, prendre quelque chose. You can take your time, prendre son temps. Lazy! Trouver, to find. I found something! J'ai trouvé quelque chose. It's a bottle of water again, because that's my only prop for today. Yeah, I found the solution. 
J'ai trouvé la solution. Did I find the solution? No, I didn't. Because Mac messed it up. Red should go here and you have the cross. Then you do the next one. J'ai trouvé de quoi manger. I found something to eat. Finally, I won't be starving anymore. Donner, to give. To give money. Donner de l'argent. Please give money to Leah. Donner un cadeau. For someone's birthday. To give a present. Falloir. Need to. It's more have to than need to. Well, need to. I need to do my hair. Il faut que je me coupe les cheveux. Il faut que je pense à une phrase. I need to think of a sentence. Ah, this one it fits. Parler, to speak. You can speak a language. Parler une langue. Speak French, parler français. My chair is squeaky. And my spoon is too big. Je te parle plus. I'm not speaking to you anymore. <coughs> Mettre, to put. To put something on your head. Mettre quelque chose sur sa tête. Like a hat. To put your clothes on. Mettre ses vêtements. Savoir, to know. I know everything. Je sais tout. Remember, no one knows everything. Souvenez-vous, personne ne sait tout. Savoir in French is also knowledge. It's the same word. Passer, to pass. On lui passe un truc. To pass something on. Also work in sport. Pass, pass, pass. But I won't catch it. I did. Regarder, to watch. To watch a movie. Regarder un film. To watch a match. Regarder un match. Of whatever you want. Go Jinx! Go Jinx! Go Mundo! Go Red Team! Go Soccer Team! Go Mundo! Watching the news. Regarder les nouvelles. Aimer, like. I like you. Ooh. Aimer is also to love. So you can like someone or love someone. It will be the same. J'aime le chocolat. I like chocolate. There's a guy that I like. No one I say it is me by the fly. That's a South Park song. Because I did it wrong. Croire, to believe. I believe I can fly. Je crois que je peux voler. Sounds so lame. Je crois en toi. I believe in you. You can do it. You can learn French. Go watchers. Manger, to eat. I believe it's time to eat. Je crois qu'il est l'heure de manger. It's always time to eat. I like to eat. J'aime manger, which is j'aime again. See, you can use it for stuff you like to do, like eating. No, 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 no. What do you like to eat, by the way? Leave your favorite food in the comments. Boire, to drink. This is what I said my water bottle prop all along. Leah Strong, to drink. It's making bubbles. To drink a fruit juice. Boire un jus de fruits. Go for the healthy choice. Jouer, to play. Let's go play again! Yay! Ha 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 ha! To play a video game. Jouer à des jeux vidéo. I like playing by myself. J'aime, <laughs> c'est tout ça. Parler, to talk. To make small talk. Parler de tout et de rien. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time for a new category of work. A bientôt! See you next time! Oui, oui, oui! No, 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 no. By the moon and the stars in the sky. And ice cream. <laughs> But I like ice cream better. And if you don't do your video correctly, you know what happens? Mundo! Stand for jinx. <laughs> If you want to learn a language, but don't have a lot of time to dedicate to the endeavor, you need to study as efficiently as possible. You probably aren't a language learning expert or a world traveler. You might have school or a job or two. So in this video, we'll give you three ways to help you learn language more efficiently so that you get the most out of your time and effort. Number one, use your time when you have it. The most valuable resource you have as a language learner is time. While you may not have to spend money to learn a language, you will have to spend time. Hours and minutes are a currency that you trade on a weekly basis to grow in your language learning. Language learning is probably a priority for you. It might not be the number one priority, like keeping your job or taking care of your family, but it does have to be important enough for you to invest significant amounts of time into your learning. There's just no way around it. That being said, use your time wisely. Because of previous commitments, you can quickly fall into the trap of putting your language learning off, thinking, oh, I'll do it next week, or Saturday, I'll do it Saturday. Needless to say, a few weeks can go by and you haven't really learned or practiced anything. If you find that happening, then take some time and reevaluate your approach. It's probably a long shot for you to be able to spend hours every day learning a new foreign language, but you can use your time to spend an hour or even just 10 minutes a day, every day, studying or practicing. 
If you're on a busy schedule, an hour a day can sound like reaching for the stars. So start slowly with just a five minute lesson. Over time, as you learn more and it becomes more routine, you'll want to spend more time studying. And your studying doesn't even need to be all at once. Make use of the little gaps of time you have in the day. Listen to a podcast while driving to and from work. Review new words while on lunch break or right before bed. Even a quick review while in line at the store or waiting for the bus. Together, these moments add up. This way, your little study session will add up to around 60 minutes of practice every day. You'll quickly be able to see significant improvement in your language abilities. Number two, don't method jump. When you're new to language learning, there's a temptation to try out the newest course, app, or method. There are more language learning tools and courses than I can list. But jumping around from podcast to podcast or from textbook to textbook can really hinder your learning process. It's important to find the best method for you, but when you do, stick with it. Don't get distracted by the newest app, or if you suddenly find something faster, cheaper, claiming it can teach you a language with no work on your part. Stick with your learning course or tool. Consistent practice over a period of time is what is essential for language learning. If you hit a bump or plateau, you might be tempted to think, maybe there's a faster or better way to learn. So you search around and buy the next best language learning tool, only to use it for a couple weeks and realize it wasn't really any better than the last course you tried, and the same difficulties you had are still there. If you're learning your first new language and you pick a specific method or course, we suggest you stick with it for at least three to four months. You actually hurt yourself in the long run if you constantly switch between resources because you never give yourself the opportunity to progress. Number three, focus on one thing at a time. When you decide to learn a new language, you're gonna be really excited. You have all your resources lined up, a plan in place, and you're ready to go. You think you'll spend three to four hours a day practicing and that you'll be fluent in no time, but that's only for about three days. Then you probably will get a little bit discouraged and avoid it for another three days. And this process might repeat three or four times before you realize that you might be approaching things the wrong way. You can't devour a whole new language in a very short time. You'll burn out immediately. It's better to focus on one small part of the language at a time, either a specific grammar point or a specific vocabulary topic. In the beginning, these should be based on the parts of the language you'll use right away. Even in the business world, research shows that replacing less important tasks with ones that add value and help you reach your goals is the best way to get the most out of your time. As you advance through the language and your level increases, try to pinpoint the harder aspects of the language and work on them one at a time. Learning a foreign language isn't easy. It takes time and work, but it is possible. If you stick to your learning plans and stay focused, you will see improvement in your skills and find satisfaction in using the language. Remember that learning a language is really more like a journey. It doesn't have to feel like school or work. Savor your experience with learning and enjoy every step along the way. And for even more tips on learning efficiently, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.